Pawn shop owner buys an old Pentax camera from a customer. There's a 35% chance of making $200 off the deal, a 45% chance of breaking even, 45% chance of breaking even, or a 20% chance of losing 50 bucks. What is the expected profit? All right, so this problem is an expected value problem. I know that because I see this phrase. What's the expected profit? That's just another way to say expected value. What's the expectation on the deal is what they're asking, right? So at this point, what I wanna do is try to create a table, right? A table that involves, again, like before, x value and a probability of x occurring, right? So we always need that in our table. Now, don't forget the x values are really dollar amounts in these problems. And the probability is, of course, the probability that you make that money or lose that money. All right, now, of course, there are going to be different scenarios, right? The scenarios here, the controlling events is whether you make profit, um, whether you break even, or whether you take a loss. So what I'm going to do is right next to the, the little column of X, I'm going to do that. I'm going to write um, profit, break even, and then loss. So this will give me my three controlling events, right? That'll control how much money is paid out based on what's described in the problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, fill in. Actually, let's make three rows first. Okay, and let's go ahead and fill in then the dollar amounts that are associated with profit, breaking even, and loss. So it says he has a 35% chance of making $200 off the deal. So that would be the profit, right? He'd make $200. So that's assuming that's clearing his cost. That's why they say that he would make $200 off the deal. So we've already taken out the cost here. That's what he would profit. That's a plus or a gain. I'm going to just leave it as a positive number. I won't go ahead and put the minus sign unless it's a loss, right? The probability next, it says 45% chance of breaking even. Now, if he breaks the even, it means he doesn't make anything on the deal, but he also doesn't lose anything. So his total net gain is zero. Basically, he sells the camera for what he paid for, right? And then finally, the loss scenario. It says there's a 20% chance of losing 50 bucks. So if he should make a loss, he's going to be out minus 50. Okay, now we're going to fill in the probabilities, the corresponding probabilities. The probability that he makes profit, they say, is 35%. As a decimal, that's 35, 0.35. The chance that he breaks even is 0.45. And the chance that he loses is 0 0.20. Okay, one thing you want to make sure is that these probabilities add up to 100. If they don't, you, you, you can't do the problem because you're missing something, right? You're missing a, a set of values that needs to be there. The total probabilities always has to add up to 100%. And if we check that, we get 20 and 45 is 65, 65 and 35 is in fact 100%. So we're okay there. We have that. Once we have the table set up properly, then we're going to do x times p of x. I want you to get in the habit of looking and making sure that any loss you have represented in the problem has a negative sign before you even do the multiplication. Because if you do that wrong, you'll end up with the wrong answer, right? All right, so we'll do 200 times 0.35. That's going to turn out to be $70, right? Uh, 0 times 0.45, of course, will be 0. And 20% uh, of negative 50 is negative 10, right? Negative 10. Okay. Now, at that point, we just have to add this column together to get the mean. And when we do that, we get 70 plus 0 is 70 minus 10 is $60. So this guy's expected value on this deal is 60 bucks. That's what he can expect to make. That's what he'll make on average. And remember the same thing. This notation is the same thing, expected value of x. Either way, we're saying that he expects to make a profit of $60 on this kind of deal.